Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand what is recursion. In our previous classes, we have discussed about efficiency of algorithms. We have covered lots of examples in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, we will try to understand what is recursion. What is recursion? Recursion is a programming technique in which a function calls itself so far in our programs in our algorithms we have covered different types of iterative methods so all the algorithms that we have seen so far is using iterative methods like by using for loop or while loop or do while loop so the algorithms are written so there is another kind of technique by uh, that is what we call it as recursion so using the recursion also we can solve problems so how that uh, uh, what what does that recursion means is if a function is calling itself it is what we call it as recursion for example if you take this example uh, if you take this example in this entire function so here there is a function this function is calling itself this function is calling itself so this is what we call it as recursion and how it is solving a problem so this program is for factorial to find the factorial of the given number how we are going to find the factorial of a given number without any iterations without any for loop how we were able to find the solution for the factorial that we will try to understand clearly before understanding how the recursion works we should know about this 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 uh, uh, process this is what we call it as process what is meant by process is it is a program in execution whenever a, the programs are getting executed those programs will be shifted onto the ram and that that part of the program which is in execution is what we call it as process so this is the process for this program so whenever this program is getting executed this this program will be uh, will look like this on the memory on the ram okay this is what we call it as process in this the below part is the program means the uh, machine code will be there in this uh, in this area of this process and all this is there on the ram try to get that point okay and this is where this is where all the static variables and the global variables of the program will uh, will get stored yeah, in order for the program to get executed the variables are to be stored onto some uh, are to be stored onto the memory so all the static variables and the global variables will be will get stored in this space and the next one is dynamic memory if the program is having the concepts of dynamic memory means at the runtime the memories are getting allocated means those uh, by using malloc calloc or realloc if if any such functions are used in the program then uh, uh, the my, the memory that is getting created will get stored in this uh, in this space it is this space is used and the data structure that is used is heap is the data structure and the next uh, kind of memory uh, data structure is a stack so what this stack is used for so every element of the stack it is what we call it as activation record we don't call it as a element in this case it is activation record every activation record will get created will get created whenever a function call is made whenever in the program whenever a function call is made a new activation record will get created so what will get stored in that uh, activation record is the variables that are there uh, whenever the function call is made whatever the variables are there and the values for those variables that are there at that particular point of uh, time means at that function call those values will get stored in this activation record all the local variables so we say that uh, 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 we say that uh, local variables uh, will will be will be having its uh, the function scope because after executing the function this activation record will get deleted so we'll try to understand in detail by using this example uh, how this is getting executed and that we will try to understand and within this activation record we are having so the variable variables will get stored and apart from that there is another point to understand is it is instruction pointer so what this instruction pointer means in the process of executing that function if any function call is made 
means for example if you take this function while for for this function call to execute a new activation record will get created by while executing this function if any function call is made so that is where we are going to jump from this program to uh, uh, from uh, from this place to another place try to get that point so in the pro in the execution of this program while executing this line of code we will again go into this place it is not going to be sequence we are jumping from one place to another place means a new activation record will get created try to get that point this point is very important to understand okay so we have to remember so just by simply jumping from here to here so when we come back when we come back again to that activation record we should know where we stopped our execution so that needs to be remembered so that is getting stored in this uh, uh, instruction pointer where we have uh, where a function call is made while executing a function so that needs to be recorded that will get recorded in this place which is what we call it as instruction pointer okay so now we will take this uh, stack part uh, separately and we will try to understand this program how this program is getting executed see here this is our active this is our stack part only this part okay now assume that in the main function factorial factorial of 4 this is what the function call has been made assume that this line is getting executed so whenever a function call is made a new activation record will get created and this activation record is for f of 4 means factorial of 4 now what I said whatever the variables that we have in this function those variables will get stored here so whatever the variables that we have it is uh, 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 here we are ho uh, having only one variable which is n and this n value is 4 so what will get stored here n is equal to 4 and this active instruction pointer what will get stored in this in instruction pointer that we will try to understand so okay now is the value of n is equal to 1 no it is not equal to and this is what we call it as base uh, base uh, base instruction uh, base part of this function means this base part by using this base part only we are going to conclude the function uh, recursive function okay so without this base part this is going to go into the infinite loop this will continuously happen at this point only we are going to break the recursion okay okay so by practicing lots of problems you will try to understand we will understand this base uh, about this base statement let's now let's now uh, the value of n is equal to 4 this is executed no it is not equal to true uh, is it is not true so we are going to go into this else statement and here written n n into factorial of n minus 1 n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 which is 3 again a function call is made here a function call is made and the instruction pointer is 4 a new activation record will get created okay so we have stopped our execution with n into factorial of n minus 1 so after returning this function call so whatever this function call returns with that value we are going to multiply with n what is the value of n here in this function call try to get that point in this function call the value of n is 4 this is f force function call activation record so in this execution here a function call is made and when this multiplication is made when this multiplication is made is whenever this function returns a value on that value this multiplication will happen try to get that point this is another important point to understand so this multiplication is successful is is made successful only if this fun factorial function returns some value after returning that value then only this multiplication will happen till then this will get halted this function the execution of this function call will be halted halted in the sense so we are st uh, 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 we are uh, having this instruction pointer using this instruction pointer uh, whenever the value gets returned then the multiplication will be done and the later next lines of code will get executed okay now uh, this new activation record will get created because a function call with factorial of 3 is made here the value of n is equal to here the value of n is equal to 3 this is for n is equal to 3 f of 3 f3 this is for 
F3. Again, is it equal to 1? No. Is it uh, so else part will get executed? Again, a factorial of 2 is made. Okay, F2. And what is the instruction pointer? Instruction pointer is 4. For F2, value of n is equal to 2. And again, the instruction pointer is 4. And what is the next function called? F of 1. So, this is where we need to understand. F of 1. Here, uh, f of 1 means uh, this function call is the value of n is equal to 1 yes the value of n is equal to 1 and where this function call is made f of 1 is called in n is equal to 2 right and whatever this f of 1 is going to return that will be sent back to f of 2 so this is where this function call is made right factorial of 1 so whatever that is returned for by this function call it will be returned back to the function uh, which has been called which called this function get that point okay so now here what it is returning it is returning one it is returning one back so where it has been stopped it is n into factorial of one has been made right for this function call this activation record has uh, created and within that function it has returned one now this one will be returned back here n into f of one what it has been returned it has returned one so what is the value of n it is two means two into so i am writing here two into f of one is one so what is the value of two into one it is two okay okay so now this one will get executed and this activation record is created at n is equal to n into f of f of 2 okay n into f of 2 so what this f of 2 will return what this f of 2 will return f of 2 will return 2 into 1 which is 2 this 2 will be returned here try to get that so this is returning n into f of 1 so here in f of 2 f of 1 what f of 1 returned it is 1 uh, 1 is written 2 into 1 is 1 and this activation is record is created because of f of 2 try to get that that is what recursion is that is what recursion is this is how the recursion works so here f of 2 f of 2 uh, the the value that is written for f of 2 is it is 2 now here the value of n is 3 3 into 2 3 into 2 is 6 now this activation record is created because of n into f of 3 f of 3 what does the f of 3 is returning it is 6 and what is the value of n here 4 into 6 which is 24 and this value is returned here so for this function call what is the value that we are going to get it is 24 if you store this value into uh, x is equal to factorial into 2 uh, factorial of 4 is called means now the x value will get stored with 24 so try to get that point and this function call is made in main and it is moving back and back and back and it is going to get 24 by the end okay so this is how the recursion works so you should get that point uh, so this is all about recursion hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching